a little more relaxed, but at the same time, uh, it's it's real. Oh my God, this is in a beautiful ballpark. Uh, it's about to have a game, and I'm gonna run a wrestling event in this 6,400 uh, seat venue. It is pretty surreal. So on Halloween, I can get blown up with this old man and uh, call it a day. <laughs> Man, I'm attentive about everything and just want everything to go so good. I think he's anymore at some of these shows. You see me, uh, I'm, I'm not running around with chick my head cut off, but I'll, I'll come off. I'll, I, I'll apologize to the kids. I'm like, if I came off frantic or I'm just, I just want everything to go good. I even haven't had the time to uh, even put myself in the place of, of, of being a wrestler again. Purpose was there to, that was presented to me to come back and do this. And that was one of the, the big things because if this was not happening right now, uh, I would have not be back right now. This is um, his match list from his retirement match last year. Oh. Yeah, I've had it sit in my office for the last year, and I've been meaning to give it back to him. And I know that I didn't know until somebody the Halloween show is just going to be impossible to like give this to him. So I figured I'd give it to him today. That's cool. I, I know he's like sentimentally likes that stuff. You know, I love it. That's awesome. Just been so busy as uh, promoter and. Uh, Running, running, the, running everything here. I haven't really had time to think about this match uh, really at all, aside from, you know, what is Odina has told me that you know what we're doing and blueprints of things and so and the idea is there. Uh, but uh, jumping into uh, the the bulldozer again, I just haven't had the time to do it. And then the couple instances that I did, trying to film some promos and stuff lately. I just, I didn't have the, I'm not lacking the passion, but I guess the motivation to, to get the, ignite the passion and get it going because I have too much of uh, promoter mat stuff on my mind and at times it's been tough. So it's, it'll just weigh me down and I haven't had that, that drive uh, as quickly as I usually would to be able to you know, come in here and roll around and, you know, hit the ropes and take some bumps or cut a promo. It just hasn't been there. It, it is important here to make H2O grow. I honestly, truly believe that H2O can be the new, better CZW. We'll just brawl. And it'll almost kind of be like a single between... And, and, and it'll and be that way because of compelling storylines. And because, you know, you're bringing in myself and Atticus and, and guys that travel and that are, you know, bigger names on the indies and, and working with the students and then teaching them like, hey, it's not all about the moves. It's not all about wrestling like Will Ospreay. It's not, it's not about that. Like, it's about getting people invested in you and what you're doing and then you'll become a better wrestler. So for, that, for, for H2O, it's about growth. And that's why I'm here. I don't care about money here. I'm worried about helping Matt grow this place and make it what it could be and what it should be. It's a warehouse, 3,200 square foot warehouse that holds maybe 300 people. And now we're running in a baseball stadium that sits, sits 6,400. And we have 2,345 allotted to us. And I'm trying to fill as many of those seats as possible and just give, make sure everybody's getting what they want out of it. And, uh, and it, so they can look back on all this and it'd be a memorable uh, experience for everybody. 
opposed to, you know, other places or instances or other attempts from, you know, others. So I just, I don't want to be an asterisk when people look back at this or, or a negative thing. I just want it to be a, a positive spin on everything and people can look back on it like, you know, Tremont the promoter was a man of his word and gave us authentic FMW, you know, for all those hardcore tape trading fans that were watching all those years ago and now they can see it live. So that's uh, that's the weight on my shoulders. We got some awesome names up there, don't we? The next inductee into the H2O Wrestling Center Hall of Fame is my trainer. When I started in this business, started training 2006, 2007, there was one woman that whooped my ass into shape. One of the most respected women in this business. Ladies and gentlemen, time, time. I'm definitely excited for him. I was actually talking to Matt uh, a couple, I think a week ago I, I told him, I said to Matt, because I think this is so huge, I don't think there's ever been a more authentic FMW explosion match, or at least an attempt at it, in the United States than the one he's having right now at the Tsushi Onita come October 31st. And I was telling him, I'm like, Matt, think of it, like you're on a list of, what, Terry Funk, Cactus Jack, Hayabusa, like, you know, all these rare, people that actually got to have an authentic exploding match and especially with someone who created it like at Sushi Anita you know it's even a, a shorter list and Matt's being able to do that and that's so I think that's so incredible I definitely I definitely think it will happen and I think all right now is just the worrying and the you know the logistics about it but I think once it happens I think Matt's going to be thrilled and happy with it. But I had to. I didn't want really to come back, but I have to. Me and you, one on one, you retired me in my ring, in my house. You talked me off that motherfucker like the fat piece of shit I was. And guess what I've been doing? Training my kids, getting motivated. I'm back, motherfucker! Yeah. I will dance with RSP on November and get our shot back to them and for you. And then on Halloween, Onita, 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 Mr. Lawyer, Trent from the stadium. Double hell. See you in hell, Onita, as we get blown to fucking smithereens. It's been a, been struggling for a, a long time, and throw this big show on top of it, uh, along with everything else, um, has been very overwhelming at times. I have all the motivation in the world every day when I walk out of my office where I fucking sleep, and I have a ring every day, and I stare at, it and I don't do anything in, and then I'm like, what is wrong with myself to not be able to? To, to do it, I have a ring right here to my own disposal, all, all I ever wanted, right in my, literally in my backyard. And 
This hasn't done it either. Day-to-day -day logistics of this process has been a nightmare, and but a, a nightmare because so many people have dreamt about it. So I have to turn that nightmare into a, a good dream because the expectations of everyone and what they want to see and for what they're, they're paying for, you know, we need to deliver. This is the first time in my life of, lack of a better word, uh, scared of failing. Everything's really, really on the line right now. It's a little, a little more relaxed, but at the same time, uh, it's it's real. Oh my God, this is in a beautiful ballpark. Uh, it's about to have a game, and I'm gonna run a wrestling event in this 6,400 uh, seat venue. It is pretty surreal. The one constant that I had for 15 years, the last year, did not much at all. So it's like new again. But I guess that the old adage of uh, it's like riding a bike. So you have to get to the bike first. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.